Hello, my name is Ankur Yadav. I am the student of Lucknow University Department of Civil Engineering. Uh, today's presentation topic is automated highway system. So basically, I have just uh, been through some basic concept how automated uh, highway system is introduced. So uh, this is the content that I will go through. Uh, first of all, I will go through the introductions. Uh, basically, uh, before 78 years ago, GM introduced driveless vehicle in the 1939 World Fair in New York. In 1991, Intermodal Surface Transport Efficient Act, a U.S. federal law, invested $650 million. Under this, U.S. DOT developed an AHSRP. So, uh, the output is a GPS system. Then in the 1980, uh, advanced computing technology sensors, micro uh, microelectronics used in the AHS. Then after that, the AHS is set of designed uh, designated uh, lanes where the vehicles operate under the complete automated system. Uh, automatically, uh, automatically control throat steering and braking to provide safer and more convenient travel. And after that, it uses the communication sensors and obstacles detection technologies to recognize and react to the external infra uh, infrastructure conditions. So there are the some basic goals, uh, basics goals which has kept in mind to introduce the automated highway system. The first one is the improved safety. The safety is must. The second was the safe money and optimize uh, investment. The third one is the improve accessibility and mobility. The fourth one is improve environment efficiency, which is very important. The fifth one is create jobs. So uh, this is the one type of the example that has been used today in the Japan. This uh, concept is called Smart Cruise System 7. Actually, in this we can see in a diagram that the uh, the vehicles are having a a uh, specific distance from each other so basically they are divided in a such a manner and they will travel in a, on a highway in a such a manner that they, they will have a specific distance between them which prevent from the uh, accident and this concept is first used in the japan so basic now we will come to the system concept and the technologies there are the two type of the uh, groups they has been classified the first one is the partial automated system the second one is the fully automated system the partial automated system includes the notification and warning system uh, temporary emergency controls and uh, continuous partial control which take limited control of the vehicle in the emergency situations fully automated driving would be uh, let the driver be totally disengaged from all the driving tasks so basically the partial uh, is not a uh, fully automated it just been operate at the time of the emergency situation but in the uh, fully automated it will be all through the drive that you will got it now uh, we will come to the control design of the automated highway system so this is the uh, uh, this is the block diagram so before coming in the work block diagram we will just go through uh, the five layer theory so these layers are introduced while uh, uh, while introducing the control design of the automated automated system the first one is a physical layer the second one is a regulation layer coordination layer link layer network layer now uh, when we come on this uh, design control to so what happen uh, Suppose you are driving a car on a highway. So there are two, two main things that we have to automate. The first one is the roadside system and the roadside system. And the third one is the onboard vehicle system. So the, in the road, the road uh, when we come to the roadside system, the link layer is uh, uh, connected to the network layer, which gives the traffic information. And after that, the network layer is interconnected or outlet boundaries condition to the link layer. And these two layers, network and the link layers, are connected to the vehicles, onboard vehicle system. So 
so this one the in the middle one you can see this is a vehicle uh, and the, uh, in the in besides there you have a neighbor vehicles so this is uh, the way that it connect to the neighbor vehicles the coordination layer is a one the uh, is a layer which is responsible to calculate the distance between the vehicles which are driving uh, on the roads so basically it just gave a uh, it basically it just coordinate with the other vehicles that it prevent the accident on the highway so this is the whole control system so uh, what i have told you onboard vehicle control system uh, basically it's overall control system which comprise the control system for the coordination regulation and the physical layers it prime it primary objective is to safely control the vehicle while uh, efficient executing its active plan activity plans it is mean that the vehicle should not collide under the normal circumstances and if we come on the roadside control system its primary objective is to optimize the capacity and the traffic flow of overall uh, automation highway system the roadside control system can control the network and the link layer in a way that to try to increase the vehicle safety such as maintaining the sufficient low aggregate vehicle density and decrease the inlet traffic flow into the link uh, there is a one concept which is called the vehicle uh, pl uh, pl platooning actually the vehicle platooning is a part of a suit feature of the self driving car might employ the group of vehicles that can travel very very closely together safely at a high speed and each vehicle communicate with the each other in the platoon so this is called a vehicle platoon so the, it having some potential benefits also efficient it uh, actually efficiently reduce the traffic congestion and enhance the safety in the highway driving this uh, in turn would potentially cut the travel time and therefore the driving would be more predictable and reliable and it also introduce in, in and it also reduce the accident by the 70 to 90 percent on the fully automated highway so there uh, so there are some challenges which comes in the automated highway system the first one is unclear social impact congestion at the entry and exit safety equity uh, uh, dilemma of uh, transition from congestion of automated highway public acceptance these are the challenges which comes so after discussing the challenge at the last i want to conclude that the automated highway system it gives safety efficient affordability and usability and environment con uh, conservation goals the automated highway system is a complex large scale control system whose uh, design require the advance in a sensors accurators and the communication technology and in techniques of a control system synthesis and analysis it is a measure of advanced state of art that these techniques have reached a stage that they could be successfully used in a hs project so these are the some reference that i have taken from and uh, at the last my presentation has been finish and i hope you will get the basic concept on the automated highway system thank you